Welcome to my channel. This one is how to meditate. In case you're new here, consider subscribing. God bless you as you do that. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and then share to bless others. Let's continue. This is a kind of an answer to a question one of my past student prophet uh, Mook had asked from Zambia. And he asked, how can I meditate on a deeper level and so on and so forth. I've had these questions coming from various quarters and platforms to which I'm directly connected. And I think it's important I expose some of these secrets here. And it's about how to meditate. If you want to meditate and meditate deep. All right. Now, for us who are prophetic, meditation is a principle. Meditation as well is an integral factor. Meditation as well guarantee your access to the prophetic realm and to operate at a forensic level as you prophesy. Forensic prophecy, in fact, cannot be reached or attained without you being effective with your meditation. This intent tells us that there are a lot of prophetic codes that cannot be operated until you've conquered your meditation processes. So I want to simplify meditation here for you in this video and uh, see how to walk you through the process. There are three levels of meditation that I want to point out here to you. The first is the amalgamative meditation. In the amalgamative meditation, you a kind of merge the physical realm with the prophetic realm. That's what you achieve when you engage or indulge in this kind of meditation. You merge the two sphere of influence, the physical realm and the spiritual realm. The meditator or the person meditating takes off her meditation process that's ignites it from the physical realm. Just as I'm looking at the camera in front of me and perhaps I got a name written on it. Then I start looking at the name or stir at the name and start perhaps uh, reasoning around this name written on the camera. Perhaps I start taking thought of the shape of the camera, what it looked like somewhere and I keep allowing thoughts to run through my mind on the color of the camera, the lens, the shape of the lens, and uh, the likes, including the name, until I come to the point where I can associate it with something in the spirit realm. Like when I'm th taking thought of the camera, am I at the same time thinking how that God doesn't use aids like this, like the camera, but is able to record our everyday activities on his own screen in heaven so that our lives can be replayed right in front of us as can be expected if need be on the day of the judgment so as a result of that you take out your time you take out your time to go deep in terms of whatever you are visualizing physically this is a uh, comparable to or uh, a good example here is uh, Isaac going to the field to meditate Isaac the son of Abraham he went to the field to meditate and uh, that was after the occasion of his going out to meditate now you can go out you looking at places are uh, seeing re atmosphere that seeing the atmosphere of places or things you know, the mountains, the rivers, you know, the grasses, the trees, the leaves, the birds, everything. It could be a forest area, it could be a mountainous area, it could be a river bank, it could be anywhere about anything. And you are like, you know, allowing thoughts to roll through your mind as you begin to visualize this uh, physical environment until you are able to match the physical environment with a spiritual environment, you know over time you see yourself going somewhere that you were not before you start rolling into the other realm that's a prophetic realm it comes to a point where you begin to see beyond 
what you were thinking of from the physical realm and what you began with seeing in the spirit realm to seeing things differentially. That is that you were not taking thought of per se. At this point, if somebody comes in, you may be able to see through their lives immediately. That's the first uh, stage of or level of meditation. That's one of the, that's the first uh, level of meditation I want to itemize here. The second level of meditation is the integrated meditation. Here, we are not talking about a direct contact with the physical environment. We are talking about the situation whereby you manage to disconnect with yourself, disconnect yourself with, disconnect yourself from the physical environment, from the physical environment. You get that? And based on this, what you're left with now is the spiritual environment. And how do we do that? If it's in a closed room, you put or turn off all the lights. Make sure the place is dark. You are seeing nothing physically. Or if the place is not dark, can you try to close your eyes and make sure the place is quiet? Jesus repeatedly and uh, predominantly engaged this approach recorded in scripture. He would go to the mountains at night to a quiet place at night. Now, there was certainly no electricity then. It was difficult for you to sense the sight of light at any close distance each time Jesus went out to pray somewhere on the mountain alone. He engaged integrated meditation to sharpen himself and to teach me how to do it when it's my time. He's God. He may do none of this and may still do well prophetically, will still do well prophetically. But me, as a human being, that's the only method that will guarantee that I'm able to catch prophecies accurately and be able to follow my prophecies with miracles that are resounding. So he goes to those places at night and stays there alone. What is he doing? Everywhere is shut up. If there is, there is a sound of, let's say, uh, birds in the night or uh, bush animals or insects, these are probably the sounds that Jesus will be picking, nothing more. But for the visual aspect, physical visualization, shut up. So you have enough time to visualize integratedly. What do I mean here? What he had integrated into his memory is what he now visualizes. Perhaps, let me put it this way, the people he saw, the miracles he performed, the way the people reacted, the kinds of people that came around him in the course of his day, uh, today work, Jesus is going to visualize virtually every one of them. The comments they made, he's going to visualize them to the point where if that person was a witchcraft agent that said something in the afternoon when he was with them out there in the field, Jesus would pick the witchcraft while meditating privately there. He would search everybody, search including the apostles. And then the next move is about to make. He shut up from the physical. Everything is now taken in to the spirit realm for processing. So it is there he interacts with all the known facts, all the known details. And then when he comes back, he is sharp. So you must endeavor to create such atmosphere where you are cut off from men to meditate, you know, uh, on an integrated note. Get my point? The place have to be dark or you have your eyes closed and the place is quiet enough, serene enough. That's a condition to be, for you to be able to engage integrated meditation, please. And make sure when you do so, you are able to silence your mind of noise because there are occasions where you are at such a place and the lights are tripped off and you are like you want to meditate and mind noise is coming in there's difference between mind noise and the conscious engagement of meditation here is the difference in terms of mind noise about every nonsense run through you under such atmosphere but in terms of a conscious meditation you literally begin to browse through whatever you want to browse. Just as I can Google whatever I want to Google. I can Google whatever I want to Google on my device. That's how this one is engaged. It's not an accidental kind of meditation. You go through and go through. You Google here, you Google there. 
you google the past you google the past uh, the, uh, let's say yesterday the day before yesterday uh, last month your encounter with mr sam yesterday your encounter with mr sam five days ago you encounter with mr sam 10 years ago you encounter with mr sam uh, 15 years ago five years ago uh, 10 years ago seven years ago you put everything together you visualize this again and again until you are able to come out with something out of what you meditate upon this can as well be done using or engaging scriptures but the condition is that this place is dark and serene so you are able to do a an integrated meditation under this atmosphere jesus did this a lot and it accounted to the great successes he had with forensic prophecy as well as his exploits in the uh, faculty of miracles the third kind of or uh, or uh, level of meditation i want to talk about is the supersonic meditation the supersonic meditation here you are something spiritual here you have come to a level this is the level where major prophets or the sharpest prophets operate they are capable of transiting between this realm and that realm they can do this with ease and that's why these people are recl reclusive they are not always with you because some of the things they do, you can be by them and they do those things. These are spiritual uh, sort of exercise. They pick them up from the scripture and they do nothing of scripture at all. But what I want to make you understand is that their approach to living, you can't uh, do that unless you want to. So you have to learn just like Joshua was there with Moses. The kind of life Joshua was living around Moses, not many among his peers would be able to cope with that kind of life. So, and he was privileged to tap into some of these other things that other of his peers could not uh, uh, tap into. So get me, this was Moses, this was Jesus. There are occasions where they do supersonic meditation. In supersonic meditation, you take off from this realm. In most cases, you do this by engaging uh, uh, trance, in trance. You just decide to leave this realm shift into the other realm visualize things in that realm then come back to this realm there are occasions where you look or pick a particular issue you want to browse then you leave this realm you switch to the other realm view everything about it come back to yourself so uh, you don't need disturbance too with this and not necessarily under a dark atmosphere like i said in integrated meditation the place can be uh, uh lit up but you have to uh, be separated too from people now this is this about the supersonic meditation and supersonic meditation is such that it is faster than any search engine you can imagine on earth in terms of operation you are uh, googling issues i mean you google issues here so uh what you are doing here is with a kind of an unusual speed it's just going you pick secrets pick details with ease uh, I mean, within short interval of time, splits of seconds or even minute seconds, you get that. It's that depth of a speed of, of meditation. You cannot be good with supersonic meditation until you are first of all good with amalgamative meditation and integrated meditation. So some people want to start with uh, supersonic meditation. It doesn't happen that way. In supersonic meditation, a prophet can be in a place, you know, and uh, even in your presence, he can decide to duplicate the, pre the, the premise so that he is out of this world right before you and in the same uh, atmosphere. You think he is there, he's duplicated the atmosphere and uh, he is out of this world, still with you. You see him there and he's managed to go to the other side, then tap into the other realm. I get what I'm saying? Then come back to himself and then match the both realms and then prophesy. Yeah. So prophets, after doing all of this on meditation, they stand the chance of being able to uh, use any of the uh, uh, levels of meditation to prophesy, okay? Yeah. And for public prophecies, they do more of uh, amalgamative meditation. But if I'm better, if I'm good with supersonic and good with integrated, the better I'll be with my amalgamative when I pick it for use in public prophecies. It not only prophets need to meditate through these three levels, every believer needs to because this is what enables you to be able to visualize your destiny, your marriage, your children, your future, your money, 
everything about you. So as an individual, a believer, you need to be able to meditate through the three levels of meditations. God bless you. Uh, and thank you for watching. I want to pray with you so God can unlock you to be able to go into these uh, three levels of meditations and smoothly. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray over you that the power of God unlock you for meditation and effectively in Jesus' awesome name. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel, like this video, share to bless others and comment. Bye-bye.